We pray that your will may prevail in our lives, oh Jesus. Esabadi yanko no malali ya bende de bashe. Eze mandali yanko loso so bende malali kari ya de de basha. Iza masazi yanko polali yanko de bende ya de mali. Iza misazi yanko so bende malali ya de de basha. Eba la mani ya doso so kabisa manesketa ya de de saze bashe. Eba la mani ya doso so mechelele bali ya de na 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 ba. Eba la mani ya doso so mechelele bali ya na na ba. Help us so we will go. Help us, O Holy Ghost. Help us, O Lord. I am so so set on my life, and on my body, I can't stop the pain. The Lord is a thing I'm gonna so so mad at. If I ever get a malady, I know that we ask for your help, O Jesus. For we do not know what to pray, O Lord. But you, Holy Ghost, help us, O King of Glory. You, Holy Ghost, intercede for us, O Jesus Christ. It's a mali mali, I can't no pain, no mali ni bade. It's a manesh, let us a mali. Your King of Glory, we have sinned, we have fallen short of your 
the name of the Lord Jesus, that we ask you, O Lord, to forgive us. We ask you to look at us in the eyes of mercy, O Jehovah God. Even as we are here, O King of Glory, we ask you, O King of Glory, to show us your mercy. We need to walk in righteousness, O King of Glory. We need to walk in your way, to walk in your way, O King of Glory. Help us, O Lord. We give you glory, O Lord. We praise you, O Jesus. We exalt you, O Lord. We are here to worship you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. May you receive our worship tonight. Receive all of our worship and praise our God. worship tonight. Receive all of our May worship, O King of Glory. Worship tonight. Set our hearts, O King. May you receive Such our, our hearts, O Lord. Tonight. Such our hearts, O Jesus. We surrender. Such our hearts, O Lord. We, we surrender to you that you may such us living. Look, look into us. Look so different to us, O Lord. Your own knows our hearts, O Jesus. We Within our hearts, O King, may you accept all our worship. As I tell our Lady Eloya, as I'm not sure that I know the Lady Eloya, as I'm not sure that I know the Lady Eloya, as I'm not sure that I know the Lady Eloya, as I'm not sure that I know the Lady Eloya, as I'm not sure that I know the Lady Eloya, as I'm not sure that I know the Lady Eloya, as I'm not sure that I know the Lady Eloya, as I'm not sure that I know the Lady Eloya, as I'm not sure that I know the Lady Eloya, as I'm not sure that I know the Lady Eloya, as I'm not sure that I know the Lady Eloya, as I'm not sure that I know the Lady Eloya, as I'm not sure that I know the Lady Eloya, as I'm not sure that I know the Lady Eloya, as I'm not sure that I know the Lady Eloya, as I'm not sure that
Sema Wabudiwe Tungana na Tuasema Wabudiwe Tungana na Tuasema Wabudiwe Umechino liya malaika yeso Umejinu liye viumbe wakuku wabudu o yesu Umewaumba wanadamu ukaumba na vili vyote Vili vyomo duniani ili ukaweze kuwabudiwa o yesu Tunaungana nao, tunasema wewe ni mfaumi Tunaungana nao, tunasema wewe ni mtakatevu Na uwabudiwa milele, uwabudiwa milele Malaika waku kwa budu Tuangana na tuasema Uwabudiwe Umechinulia Malaika waku kwa budu Tuangana na tuasema Pamoja na mimi umejinulia Umejinulia Malaika wapu wabudu Tuangana na utu asema Wabudiwe Yesu, Yesu Umejinulia Malaika wapu wabudu Tuasema uwabudiwe Yesu mechinulia Mechinulia Malaika waku wabudu Tuaungana na utuasema uwabudiwe Yesu mechinulia Mechinulia Tunaungana na malaika 
Sema Uabudiwe Yesu tunakuwa bon Mshana wa leo tuna sababu nyingi sana za kukuwa bon Mshana wa leo tuna boni o Yesu wena tutukuwa bon Yesu kana lala Ia tolo maneshe zekelele You are the Lamb of God who sits on the throne. You are the King of Kings, O Jesus, you who reign. All over the earth, O King of glory. We have found none like you, O Jesus. We have looked around, O King of glory. We have found none like you, O Jesus. You are so holy. 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 Yeah. 
Jehovah God because if it wasn't for the day that you gave yourself if it wasn't for the time that you gave yourself for us oh Jesus we will never be here oh King we would have been consumed in sin we would have been destroyed in sin and so we have reasons to glorify and honor you oh Jesus lift up your voice and just give God the glory and honor for he is worthy of all the praise in your own words, lift up your hands. Lift up your hands above your head and just glorify the Lord. I give you praise, O Lord. We exalt you, Lord. We exalt you, Jesus. We exalt it, O Lord. I love you tonight, O Jesus. I love you because you first loved me. I love you because you gave yourself. He is all that matters for us. I give you praise this evening, O God. 
That sacrifice that he made make him it makes him more worthy. It makes him worthy of all the praises. It makes him worthy of all the glory. It makes him worthy of all the adoration. He is all that matters to us. You have love has been evident toward me. But I worship your name. What else you will be here for? If it wasn't for your love, oh Jesus, how else will we be here, oh King? If it wasn't for your perfect love, oh Jesus, how else will we be here, Jesus? If it wasn't for your grace upon us, how else will we be here, oh King? If it wasn't for your ultimate sacrifice, oh Lord. You love us too much, oh God. We are here to adore you. We are here to worship you, Jesus. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. That it matters to you. Come and say, oh, 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 you are all the heart. Oh, 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 matters more than anything else he is the one that matters the most 
We thank him for the sacrifice. If it wasn't for the sacrifice that he made for us, we wouldn't be here. Amen. Amen. We wouldn't be here. It is by his grace that we are here. And we have reasons to thank the Lord and just worship and exalt him. Amen. Amen. I remember this song, Angela Chibalonzo's song coming to me about her remembering Niki Kumbuka open door, Wako Kwangu. Na hisi kama ningeli kuwa na mabawa Niruke mahali ulipo ebona Nipige magoti mbele za koni ya budu Nikikumbuka upendo wako kwangu Na hisi kama ningeli kuwa na mabawa Niruke mahali ulipo ebona Nipige maguti mbele za koni ya budu We ni mwema kwangu Mwema kwangu ba We ni mwema kwangu Mwema kwangu ba We ni mwema kwangu Oh my God, it cannot be joy that can be explained. 
it is joy that can never be explained because you know that God has been so good to you think about his love upon you fikiria tu venye anakupenda just lift up your voice to the lord and just to worship him for his goodness upon your life it is by his mercy lord we give you adoration lord we give you glory we thank you jesus for your goodness so king we thank you for your mercies and love oh jesus all of our lives lord you have been so faithful lord king of glory we love you oh jesus your mercy has never failed us not once in our lives have we seen you disappointing us so king you have been so faithful oh lord you have been so good to us oh jesus your goodness is running after us every single time oh lord we see your goodness coming after us so king of glory we see your love covering us all over every time oh jesus we exalt and worship you lord your god is your god is your god is your god thank you lord thank you lord we thank you lord for your goodness we thank you for your goodness oh jesus we worship you lord we exalt you lord we exalt you lord
grace that you may increase. I pray that your power, your glory, your anointing shall be released in this atmosphere. The Lord, by the marks of the blood, we shall be set free. And we have been set free. In Jesus' name, put us together for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. His name is Jesus, Son of the Living God. Come and put us together for Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Amen. Turn to neighbor, greet them, and tell them, Welcome to church. It's a good Friday. Welcome to Zion, the city of the living God, where we are surrounded by the host of angels, uncountable angels. This is the place where you encounter Jesus. Greet 20 people, tell them, Prophet says hi. Our online church, God bless you for tuning in. We celebrate you and we thank God for you even for joining us this night in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory to Hosanna in the highest. Amen. I'm excited this evening because God is going to move in this place in a mighty way. Hallelujah. Can you just speak in tongues for one minute if you can? Just open up your mouth and speak in tongues for one minute. Shela barane sevla deske pela mau zivrahane skaba ziza zuvle ke pradise meleka badia soko pali marane skaba. Come on, come on, charge up one more minute, one more minute. Ziba lu zebra gada ya lebes geda isoveli ya zebra gada sente lebazia ziza puje ke pela maradi venadia zaku she pela mo zebra kata uma sofele di zata la bata di rizo la di skapa la di maranu skapa le di skapa la di zebra di sente lebazi skapa la di reva sha sha la baza le baka uma sevali ya nzo Zazuja, <laughs> Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your presence in this place. Thank you for your blood. Thank you for redemption. You are here, and you said you'll never leave. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. You
Thank you, Jesus. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. In Jesus' name we have worshipped. Amen. We may have our seats in God's presence. Sometimes it's hard for me to preach or even teach because of the power of his presence. And I just love worshipping him in such environments because when he is in a place, he just wants his time. I know Easter is a, a holiday or a ceremony that has a lot of controversy in Christendom. And there are so many people who are now saying people celebrate Easter are, are after idols. <laughs> I believe you must have seen some of those things trending online, right? But I want us to look at the book of Colossians chapter 2 verse number 6 even before I get into the word of God. And I'm going to teach and preach at the same time. There is a word in my heart for this day. We are not doing a conference. We're going to do just this one service and then on Sunday, all right? So we are not here tomorrow. The Bible says in Colossians 2, 6, As you therefore have received Jesus Christ the Lord, so walk in him. As you have received Jesus, walk in him. Let's continue. And continue to live your lives in him. Rooted and built up in him. Are you seeing that? You have received him, walk in him, be rooted and be built up in him and established in the faith. So the establishment, when you, are, when, you are, when you have received Jesus as your Lord and you are built up in him and you live in him and you are rooted in him and you are built up in him and you are established in the faith as you have been taught. That's why you must be taught. Hallelujah. That's why when now people begin to talk about you, Ishtar, Ishtar, trying to sound deep, you have been taught. If you talk about Easter being something of paganism and stuff like that, you are also telling us that Christmas is one of them. And your birthday is another one. Praise the Lord. These are baseless arguments. I want to begin there. Praise the Lord. Abounding in it with what? With thanksgiving. Let's continue. With thanksgiving. See, beware lest anyone cheat you through philosophy and empty deceit. Are you seeing that? They will come and try to tell you that this thing was demonic, blah, blah, blah. We are not marking those things. We are not celebrating those things. We are celebrating the resurrection and the power of redemption in this weekend. Someone say amen. So let no one cheat you with philosophy and empty deceit according to the tradition of men. According to the basic principle of this world and not according to Christ. Close down to verse number 16. Chapter 16. I mean verse 16. So don't be deceived. I see a lot of a lot of a lot of uh, hula baloo here and there. Oh, sijui, ilikuwa, ilikuwa. Until now you realize that you are losing focus. People are losing focus on understanding the main reason why we are here today on a Friday to mark. We are not celebrating the day. We are celebrating the reason behind the day. That it were it not for today, we would not have been redeemed. So let no one judge you in food or in drink or regarding a festival such as this one. Tell your neighbor, marks of the blood. Marks of the blood. How many of us, when they see blood, they are their their body shrinks you feel jitterish you feel your hair standing how many of you are like me when you see blood you feel like that right how many of you have ever been to a mortuary city mortuary to be precise okay how many of you have ever been in an accident scene and you've seen blood how did you feel? I believe you didn't sleep well for a couple of days. Okay, how many of you have ever been to a place where they're doing post-mortem? So I will advise you never to go there. 
It is the worst place to be. I've been there, so I know how it looks like sometimes. It's nasty. Now, you see the way your faces are looking like? I've just mentioned blood and everybody's face is like, what is pastor talking about? Now, the Bible says in the book of Leviticus, chapter 17, verse number 11, I began teaching now. For the life of a creature is in the blood. We have a doctor here and they will tell you if there is a kind of injection, if they put it in you, your blood freezes and you die instantly. For the life of the flesh, the life of a creature, the life of this flesh that we have is in the blood. And I have given it to you upon the altar to make atonement for your souls. Hallelujah. This is the old covenant. This is God talking to us. And he's saying here, the life, your life is in this blood. Your, your, your life is in the blood. But then he tells us, I have given it to you. I have given you, I have given it to you upon the altar. Not the word altar there. Upon the altar to make atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that makes atonement for the soul. Another version says, it is the blood that makes atonement for one's life. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Please talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. It's a good Friday. You can't be, be bad on a Friday. Good Friday. Hallelujah. Talk to me. Hallelujah. Yeah. Those who are online, engage with us. Hallelujah. Yeah. He says the life of a creature is in the blood. Your life is in the blood. There is a reason why even when you go to hospital and you are diagnosed that you have insufficiency in blood, they must look for someone who has a similar blood like yours. They don't just pick anybody anyhow. They will run a test. If you are all positive, you must receive from all positive. Because if they give you a different form of blood, you will have complications. Most likely they say it what? Blood clot will happen. So this, you know, you can, you can, you can be amputated. Now, but you are plastic. They are called prosthetics. But when you enter into a place of losing blood, there must be a, a lot of consideration on getting you what matches with your own. Because life flows in the blood. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you lose blood, you are taken to ICU because life, God says life is in the blood. I love the second part. He says, and now, because life is in the blood, I have given it to you to make atonement. This atonement is made on the altar by the blood. In Revelation chapter 12, verse number 11, the Bible says, this blood that was given to us, it is not the blood of the bulls and the rams. It is not the blood of your father or your mother. It is the blood of Jesus that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. Someone shout amen. amen. In Revelation 12, 11, it says, triumphed, or rather they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. This blood that was given to our atonement, our lives were we were redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. It is the same blood that was now put up on the altar, the ultimate altar at Calvary. And at that altar, Jesus said, on this altar, it is finished. Come on now. Talk to me now. On that altar, he said, now, it is finished. Because in the old covenant, people were supposed to be redeemed by an animal. A blood, a blood had to be poured. A ram or a bull had to be slaughtered so that God could communicate or someone could be
be forgiven. But when Jesus comes, he fulfills the scripture. He says that now we overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Yes, amen. And this is why you must understand the power behind the blood. Amen. There are marks of the blood. There are eight of them. I'm going to give you shortly. Eight marks of the blood. But I want to build up slowly so that you can understand why you stand at a place of victory anytime you mention the power that went up on the cross. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says they overcame, they triumphed him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimonies. For they did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. You see, there's blood and death in the same sentence. Mm -hmm. Because this thing is a reality. I want to submit to us that the victory of a believer is in the triumph of Jesus at Calvary. The victory of Jesus is in the triumph. I mean, the victory of a believer is in the triumph of Jesus at Calvary. And that's why when you, when you received Jesus, the Bible says he gave you power to become sons of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We first receive this gospel of salvation. Mm -hmm. The moment you have received the gospel of salvation, then we enter into the gospel of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. What you receive at the beginning, what brought you to the kingdom was the gospel of salvation. Amen. Look at Jesus. Jesus never taught anything outside the confines of the kingdom of God. Everything Jesus ever preached, he likened it to the kingdom of God. He comes to the disciples, he tells them, now a kingdom of God is likened unto. The kingdom of God is likened unto. The kingdom of God is likened unto. And one day the disciples come to him and ask him, Master, why is it that you speak to us in plain language, but when you go to them, you speak to them in parables? He told them, it is because the secrets of the kingdom of God have been revealed to you. And I submit tonight to your life that the secrets of the kingdom of God Amen. have been revealed to you tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Someone shout hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. He told them what they were asking. Why? Why? Why is it when you go out there, you're telling them things in parables, but when you sit with us, you are speaking to us in plain language. He told them you are privileged because you are receiving the mysteries, the secrets of the kingdom of God. No wonder the things of the kingdom of God do not appeal to the, to the, to the carnal mind. Hallelujah. Amen. I love it when you are growing up. My father loved this song. Damu ya Yesu iliyo mwagika inaweza mambo yote. Damu ya Yesu iliyo mwagika. And I tell you, they would sing that song, and miracles would happen. What happened to our generation today? We want to sound deep with English songs that have no power. Tunashusha nyavu na zishuki. Sina ubaya na mtu. Because the, the, the blood of Jesus has never lost power. Yes. This blood has never lost power. Yes. It is when we take the Holy Communion, it yes. may be just wine or juice, but yes. when we give it to God, it yes. becomes the blood of Jesus. Yes. That blood forgives sins. Yes. That blood heals the sick. Yes. That blood carries power. Amen. So when you call upon the blood, yes. Kaya, something must happen in your life. In and I pray for you today, yes. the power of the blood, blood of shall be made manifest in your life. I say the power of the blood shall be made manifest in your life. Wherever there is sickness, there shall be healing tonight. Wherever there is defeat, there shall be victory tonight. Someone shout the blood. The blood. Talked about the blood. Yes. This thing carries power. We don't have to be so deep. But when you understand the mystery and the power behind the blood, that's all that we need. Mm -hmm. When we understand what Jesus did at Calvary is more powerful than what Adam did in Eden, we can never be, 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 be misled mm -hmm. by people. Amen. What Jesus did at Calvary is greater than what Adam did in Eden. He said it is finished and he opened a new chapter. 
And this is why I tell you every time, come to church to pray. Because the pastor's work is not just to pray for you. You have to pray for yourself. You have to know how to enter into the Holy of Holies. You have to know how to contend for your life. You have to know how to wage warfare. I am not a pastor to stand on the pulpit. I perform miracles and you clap your hands. The Bible says, all that believe the signs and wonders shall follow them. And I declare tonight, when you understand the power and the mind, Acts of the blood, may the signs and may the miracles and may the wonders follow you wherever you go in the name of Jesus. Someone shout the blood. The blood. We are building it up, but I feel I want to run before my sermon. Oh my God. Man is a tripartite being. If you don't understand what I mean by that, get a copy of my book. I've talked extensively about the three natures of a man. A man as a spirit, man as a body, and man as a soul. I've talked about it. So I don't want to go into that. Get this book and you will learn more about that. But you as you sit here, you have what we call the body. What I'm seeing is the body. Then within you there is what I call the soul. The soul is your mind. The soul is your, is your thought process. When you get born again, it is the soul that is regenerated. Then you have you are a spiritual being. Mm -hmm. That means that your operating system is the spirit. Mm -hmm. Without it, you shut down. Yes. That's why the Bible says when a man dies, the soul goes back to the creator. Mm -hmm. The spirit, which is the breath of God, goes back to the creator. Mm -hmm. But the body is a waste. It is buried. Mm -hmm. So when you understand that, you will realize that the soul is also what I call the heart. Your soul is your heart. Your soul is your mind. It is, it is a very, very important faculty of who you become. For you to understand the marks of the blood, you must understand it is part of you that makes you. It is part of you that makes you. This is why every time God looks at a man, he doesn't look at you, tall, dark, and handsome. But if you are serious with the things you want, you will not look at the tall, dark, and handsome. Mm -hmm. There is something bigger than tall, dark, and handsome. So there is something super than tall, dark, and handsome. Okay. It is called the soul dimension of a man. Yes. And that's why the devil, when the devil wants to mess with you, he enters you into what we call soul ties. He messes you up by putting you into what we call soul covenants. The devil is interested in who you are, not the physical body. He is interested in fighting who you are in the soul dimension because he can never touch the spirit. Mm -hmm. ah. These are heavy stuff today. He is interested in that dimension. Now, hapo unasikianga watu wameshikiwa hapo. Some of you, I bet when you are still young and trying to find uh, uh, a girlfriend or a boyfriend, you, you, you went to that girl behind a mango tree and you told her, Wacha to cut a damu, to weke, to shikanishe, alafu tuapenana milele. Kili kufanya ile kitu. Shida yo. You did not just, you did not just leak the blood of that girl or the blood of that man. But you entered into covenant by blood, which actually is the life. The life of a king. To tongue less queen, Pastor God. To fundisha yo. The water will lay as if you see your chess. Yes. Some of you, you wonder, you wonder why you can't get over your ex. Umeo, a kid ex wako, and I'm Kumbuganga Tangu Adam. To tongue less mambo squinging, and I'm to Mutawana Majabu. Born as a few. Amen. I, am I communicating? Yes. Are we still here? Yes. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So this is why when God looks at a person, he never looks at a person based on what people look. Mm -hmm. Look at the time of, of David. When David presents him, when, when God sends Samuel to go into the house of Jesse, the Bethlehemite, mm -hmm. and anoint a king, Eliab comes forward. And he looks at Eliab as a prophet. He looks at him and says, Surely, the one standing before me is God's chosen. But God tells him he is not the one. I don't look at the way people look. I look at the heart. Yes. I look at the soul level of a man. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I look at the mind of a man. 
No wonder you realize the Bible is addressing two things very often. He addresses the mind. Be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Let the mind which was in Christ Jesus be upon you. He talks about the mind and the heart. The mind and the heart. The heart of man. Jeremiah 17. The heart of man is deceitful above all things. Who can understand the heart of man? God never addresses the body of a man. Because at the, at the soul level, you can interact with God at a deeper dimension. That's when you come to church. People don't understand why sometimes you, you begin to pray. And all of a sudden, kuna watu wa mezama. So, wuna kachachu na pigatu macho kama watchman. Hawa se wanaombanga nini? Hawa se kwa ni maombi yao? Wanaombanga nini ya watu? Why, 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 am I not, why am I not also drinking in the same depth? Because people have entered another dimension. You are still in the flesh. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Luke 10, 17 says what? This is where God says, He answered them, Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Not your body. Alianza na heart. Juwa ponde kuna kila kitu. Buwana sefiwe. I tell you the best place to be is in people's hearts, not their mouths. He told them, these people worship me with their lips, but their hearts are far away from me. So when you go to church, you know what I'm going to say? 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 They are nowhere close to me. God looks at your heart. Let me tell you, never be fooled that everybody who comes to church worships God. Some people have come to waste time because it's Sunday. Some people have come because they, they just want to hang around. Some people have come because they want to meet their girlfriends and their boyfriends. Some people have come because they have nothing to do. But if you know you are God, the Bible says those who know they are God, uh -huh. they shall do what? They exploits. It's a heart matter. It's a heart matter. It's a heart matter. Even yesterday, the other day I was teaching on Wednesday about the tight thing. I told you it's a heart matter, not a money matter. Because you put your treasure where your heart is. It, it is a heart matter. That woman who gave two cents gave it from a heart level. And God said, this one has given me what I need, not what I want. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Says, love the Lord your God with all your heart. And with all your soul and with all your strength. We saw Mango scripture Kikimbia, Soma Pole Pole. Luke 10 17. Love the Lord your God. With what? With your heart, number one. That is the soul dimension. With your soul. And then with your strength. Your physicality comes last. And with all your mind. And then love your neighbor as you love yourself. Now, do you realize he's talking about three things but are the same thing? Heart, soul, mind, then strength. He's talking, he's addressing three things at once. Because you can't separate the heart from the mind and from the soul. These things are intertwined into one. He's addressing you fully so that by the time your strength comes in, it is no longer your strength. It's the same thing in Isaiah 60 verse 1. Arise and shine. It takes your strength to arise, but it takes the grace of God to shine. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, this means it, is, it, it calls us into a place of knowing beyond just believing. How many of us know they are God? You know, many believers don't know they are God. Unfortunately, we are Yes. Let me explain to you how people don't know they are God. To be here, Kanisani, ni wakati wakuomba. Top three pastors sema, I want us to pray for the church. Naskiam shirika misi mama. Raba shanda laba saba laba. Father, remember me. Father, give me money. Father, give me a house. Father, give me wealth. Father, settle me. We are praying, the instructions pray for the church. But they begin to ask God for themselves. Selfish. Are we still here? Yes. Then you don't know you are God. There is a place where you begin to serve God. And things begin to serve you. Yes. Amen. 
That's what the Bible says. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. The message of Jesus. The kingdom message. Seek ye first this kingdom. Mm -hmm. And its righteousness. And then everything shall be added. That means when you begin to seek the kingdom. You already find those things there. So when you're in the kingdom, these things begin to follow you. Amen. That's why anyone in the kingdom is a giver. Mm -hmm. Because the father has already given him. Yes. You are begging because you don't know you are God. Mm -hmm. You are still crying over things because you don't know you are God. The Bible is those who know they are God. They shall be strong. Uh -huh. They shall be mighty. Uh -huh. They shall do what? Exploits. Amen. Amen. How many people know they are God? Very few in the church. Because we have reduced God to a supermarket. I don't have food in the house. God, I want food. God, I, have, I pay for food. I come back. The day the food is over, I go back again. But those who know they are God, Peter knew his God. Peter knew his God. Yes. Peter knew that's why Peter Peter says that that master at the time of transfiguration he says master let us build a tabernacle and dwell here uh -huh. I have seen something supernatural John and James are sleeping but Peter Peter has seen what John and James have not seen and Peter says let us dwell let us build a tent and dwell here I pray for you today may God reveal himself to you may your eyes be opened that you see the glory of the Lord he has prepared for them that love him someone shout glory glory Peter said let us dwell here you don't build a tent and go away you don't build a tabernacle and go away. Yes. John and James are sleeping. But Peter said, Master, what I have seen, I don't want to miss it out. Let us build a tabernacle and dwell here. And the Bible says that, that later on, Peter, Peter, Jesus tells Peter, Peter, upon you, upon I will you. build the church uh -huh. and the gates of hell yes. shall not prevail against it. Yes. I pray may God find you worthy yes. that by the marks of the blood, yes. he can trust you in something supernatural. He can trust you in high dimension. Amen. He can trust you in glory. Amen. Someone shout marks of the blood. Marks of the blood. It was this man Peter who knew his, his Lord that when even he tried to say I don't know Jesus the way he spoke they said you, you look like you've been with Jesus. You look like him. The way he walked Ah, uh, walk like he looked God. like he has been with Jesus. Amen. He was trying to hide, but I want to tell you, anyone who knows his God, yes. you cannot hide. Yeah. The Bible says you are a city on a hill. Yes. Ah, yeah. You are a light that yes. shines yes. brighter. Yes. You cannot light a yes. candle yes. and yes. put it under. Yes. You are being lit yes. by God. Let your light shine yes. and let the world see yes. the glory of the Lord yes. that is upon you. Yes. Someone shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. The day you know you are God, you become different. Mm -hmm. I have come to realize every day I try my best to be closer to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, your father can turn their backs on you. Your mother can turn their backs on you. Your friend can turn them backs on you. So As a pastor, I can break your heart. Mm -hmm. But Jesus, he sticks closer than a brother. Than a brother. Amen. Scriptural. I've gone through moments in my life where everybody left me. And the only person who was closer to me was Jesus. Mm -hmm. Even when those moments I was depressed and I was feeling like I want to quit. My wife told me, you know what? At this moment, even me, your wife, I cannot comfort you. And she began to tell me, call on to Jesus. Because there is a certain level of intimacy and closeness and hope that only Jesus can give. And that is why no matter how charismatic I may preach, I can only point to one man who is Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. When you know you become different. It's true. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So you must have faith in him. 
Life is in the blood. Leviticus 17:11 is our main text in Revelation chapter 12. We overcome by the blood, the power of the blood and the testimony. So you understand here that when you come to Jesus if you have read your bible very well the bible is a bloody affair mm-hmm. the bible is full of blood unashangaa kwa nini mungu alikuwa anaambia daudi enda ukipata watu wachinja wote slay them mpaka bible inasema though they slay me so slay hii generation ile ni slay ya panga unachukua unajua kwa nini peter alichukua sword akachinja masikio Yes, because the bible was about it's a bloody affair peace does and so in the new covenant Amen. in the dispensation we are living in mm. our warfare is not carnal it's not carnal but we are terrorists in the spirit yes Aye. not flesh and blood we do not fight against flesh and blood are talking to me flesh and blood flesh and blood in this covenant you are a terrorist in the spirit mm-hmm. you are a killer in the spirit yes you terminate in the spirit mm-hmm. god tells the remind that i've called you to pull down yeah. destroy yeah. uproot yeah. plant yeah. hey come on in this dispensation mm-hmm. when you walk back in the village and you find a witch looking at your child like a suspect you say your eyes will not see as long as i'm here yeah. your eyes will not see and they go blind yes bana kushtuka na mchawi mhm mchawi ana power over you by the power of the blood mm-hmm. and the testimony we have overcome all our power I went to the village when my son was very young and my mother told me wewe wewe we, kwanza tutakwenda huko tuende leo shago yenyewe. Hii ingine ni ya town. Tuende leo shago ingine. Mabia, please make sure. I told mama don't worry. We are coming and we are loaded. I tell you the truth. Every child that went for Babu's funeral came back home with what we call. What we call those things. Mtoto amefura fura ulimi. Chira. Macho. You know. Mine came back dancing in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Because witches could not see him. Amen. Sorcerers could not see him. Mm. There is something about the blood of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Ah. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. Life is in the blood. Yes. And that is why Jesus had to come and atone by dying. So that no more blood sacrifices. That sacrifice carried everything that you need for your life. Yes. With that blood he says let the weak say they are strong. Yes. In that blood he says let the weak say they are strong. Yes, strong. Let the poor say they are yes. rich. With that blood he says it is over. Yes. You are no longer under a curse. Yes. You are walking under open heavens. Yes. With that blood he says Ooh. it can speak for generations yes. and generations to come. Yes. I can't wait for something tonight. Yes. I can't speak one thing. Ooh. The blood of Jesus. Yes. This blood God carries power. Yes. Someone shout the blood. The blood. Hebrews 12:24 you have come to Jesus. Mm-hmm. Hebrews 12:24 you have come to Jesus. The, the one who mediates the new covenant yes. between God and people and to the sprinkled blood which speaks of forgiveness. Yes. Is someone feeling rejected tonight? I have come to give you the blood. blood. This blood speaks forgiveness. Yes. I don't care what you did. Yes. You may have murdered somebody. You may have killed an, an, another person. Yes. Uh, you may have stolen from someone. You may have done the, uh, the, the worst of it all. But the blood of Jesus. Blood of I Jesus. thank God for the blood. Yes. The blood is the mediator yes. of the new covenant. And the blood of the sprinkling. Yes. It speaks better things. Yes. What are better things? Yes. Abel was killed by by Cain, but even at that point, uh, the blood of Cain yes. came to the father and began to cry. Yes. Oh, my, my brother has murdered me, but when Jesus comes again, yes. he says, "Now yes. upon this altar, I cancel every death. I cancel every blood of your grandfather yes. that cries every agony." 
must pray. I cast on every blood yes. of your grandmother yes. and that cries every match yes. that wants to be appeased yes. by the blood. Yes. It was a mediator yes. between the old covenant yes. and the new covenant yes. that we can come to Jesus yes. and we can be made whole. Yes. Someone shout, I am made whole. I am made whole. Glory is shattered. This blood speaks forgiveness. The precious you may not be talking to your brother, but I assure you tonight, this blood speaks forgiveness. Amen. This blood will begin to unsettle your brother in the village. Yes. Unsettle your brother and your sister, whatever they are. Mm. They will call you and your heart will be open yes. to speak to them yes. because of the blood. Yes. I fail to understand how believers can hold grudge and hate. And you say you are under the blood. Mm -hmm. I am under the blood. The blood is higher than I. But you are hating. You are telling God, give me grace to raise the dead. Mm -hmm. But you can't forgive the living. The Bible is clear to the sprinkled blood which speaks forgiveness instead of crying out for vengeance like the blood of okay. Abel. The blood of Abel was crying for vengeance. And I tell you the truth, because it is scriptural, life is in the blood. Wengine munashanga kwa nini wakati wa wote, babu yako alikufa, hata pengine ukuwa imuona. Lakini tare ambao alikufa, ama tare ambao alizikwa, unajipatanga ushagu kufanya makumbushu. You don't understand why is it that we preach and we teach you these things. Lakini kifika mwezi wa nane, lazima wende ushagu. Makumbusho ya babu. The blood is calling. Yes. Pastor God is here. Mwezi wa nane tunafanyangi le kitu uko nyumbani. Mm-hmm. Tunatairi watoto uko nyumbani. Yes. Sindio? Mm -hmm. Every even year. Is it even or odd? Even. The even year. Yes. We circumcise children in the village. Mm -hmm. Not us. As we, we, we take them to the hospital. We came from those traditions. Yes. You wonder why? There are people, he's here, can confirm because that is his tribe. Mostly they do that. He's a bukusu. He can confirm that. Mm -hmm. Every August, you wonder why someone is putting on a suit, a doctor, a doctor, daktari. Unawai zata sakamsai tutu wako umwenyewe. Lakini mwezi wa nane ikifika, kuna kitu inakuambia peleka mtoto, avalishwe magwanda, avalishwe nyama imeoza. Atembe kwa barabara uchi. Ahamuke satisa kuenda kwa mtoni. Aende akatwe mbele ya watu. Because we kama baba. Kuna damu iliwai katwa. Ika mwagika kwa. And I'll show you scripture. Ika mwagika kwa ground. Mm -hmm. Na yu damu inadai. Mtoto wako na watoto wako wote. Lazima wa mwage damu mm -hmm. kwa ground. Hey. Listen, life is the blood. The blood of Cain, I mean the blood of Abel, Abel went to the ground. Vengeance. It cried for vengeance. Yes. I know of a family I once went to pray for in Kiganju. Where they were burying every year in the month of August, I think, or July. Every year someone must die. And when we began to probe in the spirit, it was clear that the great grandfather mm -hmm. was murdered. He was an army person and he was killed. And the blood was crying for vengeance, was looking for someone whom it can take. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever happened before you came on earth, yes. whatever happened before you were born, that you, are, you entered into without knowing, by the power of the blood of Jesus, today you will be set free. Amen. Today you will be set free. Amen. I say tonight you will be set free. Amen. By the marks of the blood of Jesus, yes. you shall be delivered. Yes. Someone shout the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Wapendwa, life is spiritual. Yes. Life is very spiritual. Mm -hmm. Never take life casually. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, through one man, Adam, sin entered the world. Mm -hmm. But I want to submit you through one man. 
the penalty of sin was paid, was paid for. And this man on that cross said it is finished. Uh-huh. Listen, you have, a, you have a right to live a righteous life. You have the ability in you to live a holy life. Yes. If that not be so, then God could not tell us, be ye holy, for I am holy. So when someone tells you, do not judge me because your blood didn't wash for me, tell them, you don't know what you're talking about. I can judge you with the righteous judgment. Don't as The Bible says that we can judge, and in fact we can judge, we can judge a witch not to live. The Bible is a bloody affair. Mm-hmm. Kienda kwa Biblia wanze kuisoma vizuri utapata kwamba Biblia ni damu tupu. Peace does not come unless we walk. Amani haijila kwa nje ya upanga. Kenya we are blessed. Amen. I tell you Kenya we are blessed because we are, we are a praying nation. Ruka tu hapa 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 Sudan hapa tu. Ni hapa tu si ndio? Yes. Sudan. Ndio ujue umuhimu wa, wa, wa amani. Mm-hmm. We pray that's why we have peace. Amen. Oh my goodness. Leviticus 25 verse 47 to 50. Are we still here? Yes. Mm-hmm. My good Lord. If a foreigner residing among you becomes rich or any of your fellow Israelites become poor. Okay, if a sojourner or a stranger close to you becomes rich or one, and one of your brethren who dwells by him becomes poor and sells himself to the stranger or sojourner or close to you or to a member of a stranger's family. Mumelewa kitu, ama nasoma mbio? Tunaelewa. Mumelewa. Can we go back sir? Mm-hmm. I don't know which version I'm using. I would love to use my version. Is English. If a foreigner is yeah, that one. If a foreigner residing among you becomes rich. Foreigner ni eh mmenua shamba kitengela. Wewe sio Masai. Mmenua shamba kitengela, si ndio? The the that is ancestral land for who? The Masai. The Are we together? Amen. So if a foreigner residing among you becomes rich and any of your fellow Israelites, any of your fellow Masai men become poor, become poor and sell themselves to, to the foreigner mm-hmm. or to a member of the foreigner's clan. Now, you may sasa? Yes, sir. Kami may come, may lewa, say, Mani may lewa. You may lewa. Yani, wale wakununua shamba, wakujo kwe matajiri, na meoni kifanyika kwamba, wakati flani na pata mtu wa mekuja kanua shamba na kwa tajiri alafu wanajiri watu wa hiyo, wachunge ngombe zake, ama wachunge mali yake, kwe getmanu wake. Melewa yo luga. Now, this is this what was supposed to happen in the old Levitical covenant. Laws. They retain the right of redemption after they have sold themselves. Mm-hmm. So, ata wakijiuza pale, they retain that right. Are we still here? Unajua mm-hmm. amsomangi hizi vitu ndio sababu wakati mwingine mnazipita kama kama lori ya mira. Chwa. Hii hii kitu sielewi. Acha some kija naelewa. So they retain that right. Mm-hmm. Because you cannot sell blood. Mm-hmm. Are we together? Amen. They retain the right of redemption after they have sold themselves. But one of their relatives may redeem them. So, akiomoka kama Laban mm-hmm. na, na Jacob. Na Jacob. Jacob went there a poor man, but the blessing, the fatherly blessing was on his head. Mm-hmm. So, wakati aliomoka. Give me the scripture, please. Give me the scripture, please. One of their relatives or themselves may redeem them. No one from outside would have the right to redeem them. Nataka ni so made your elema nelekea. Yes. Bwana sifiwe. Amen. So the relative would redeem them. Verse 49, 49, 49. 49. Mm. Blood, blood, yes. An uncle or a cousin or any what? Blood. Any what? Blood relative. Any what? Blood relative. Please nielewe. Nataka nikupeleke hapa ndio elewe hiki. Because ukiata hii mali naenda utanipata. Mhm. Any of their blood relative in, in their, their clan may redeem them. them. Or if they, they prosper, they, they would redeem themselves. Like Jacob redeemed 
himself. He told, he told who? Laban. That, that you have changed my wages seven times. But the Lord has not allowed you to harm me. Na akamuambia, nita kuwache hizi mali zote, mimi nitaenda. He came a poor man, but he left a rich man. He redeemed himself. That was how it worked in the old covenant. Buwana sifiwe. So in the same way we were slaves to sin. So Jesus had to come in the human form. And this is what you keep preaching here, but many never understand it. He exchanged divinity with humanity so that we can become the sons of God. The blood had to be shed so that we can be united with Jesus and become one with him. Amen. Are we flowing now? Yes. Are we flowing now? Yes. He reconciled us back to, to the Father. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And the death of Jesus, you know what happened? He was nailed on the cross. He was, he was actually made stripped naked. He, 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 with, he, with, he, with, he withstood the shame so that you can become someone today. And that is why when you, when you are redeemed, when, you are, when Jesus has redeemed you by the blood, you need to stand and fight any curse that tries to get a hold of you. Curses exist. They are there. Yes, you have been redeemed. Yes, you have been set free. But if you open a room, they can attack you. So true. Amen. Amen. That's why he says we are a chosen what? Generation. Then the next part says we are a royal, royal priesthood. So who is royal here? Me on, uh, I am who is royal here? Yes. You are royal. Because in the in the lineage of Jesus, when he he Kiswahili nasema kwamba aliwacha utukufu binguni. Aliwacha utukufu. Utukufu ni nini? Glory. Glory comes with royalty. He left all that and came on earth, and he said, "Whoever received him, my goodness, he gave them the right, the power, the authority." To become sons of God. Amen. How many sons of God are here? How many sons of God are here? How many sons of God are here? Are here? Who is Jesus? Jesus? The son of God. But Jesus gave us a right to become sons of God. That's what the Bible says. We are seated with Christ. We are seated with him in high places, far above principalities, far above rulers, far above demonic forces. I pray for you after tonight. You are walking with understanding Amen. above forces, yes. above rulers, yes. above whatever comes to limit your life. Yes, In the name of Jesus. Yes. Kuna mali tunaka? Umeketi juusana kweye kiti chaezi Umejivika utukufu Wewe ni mungu Kweli wewe Kweli wewe Wewe ni mungu Kweli wewe Wasta hili Mnemba ofki, wachini kuimba Mnemba ofki Nipadia Romans 5.8 <laughs> Romans 5 8. Let me show you something that then we get into the marks of the blood. Have we had understood so far? Paka mal to me figure? Come, me could you say me, me donjo? 
Kabi mekuja mzuri sema imedonjo. Imedonjo. Good. But God, now look at that. God demonstrated his own love for us while we were still and how did he demonstrate the love? That's John 3:16. You know what it says, right? Yes. Christ was murdered. Mm. Christ shed his blood for us. Verse number 9. Since we have now been justified by, by his blood. How much? Remember Romans 8. Nikisema verse unaweka chini utasoma ukifika nyumbani. Romans 8 29 30 31 32 31 there. It says for those he for knew he he predestinated he, he called he glorified he justified and then he glorified so now, since we have been justified, that justification in Romans chapter 8 is what you're talking here. We have been justified by the blood. Mm -hmm. By his blood. How much more shall we be saved from God's wrath through him? Jesus is the only way, not many ways. The only. People are giving you 10 ways to the Father. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says Jesus is the only way to the Father. No other way. Mohammed is not a way. Uh -huh. is Mary is not a way. Yes. Ondeto is not a way. Ah. Owur is not a way. Yes, so true. Tongaren, Jesus is not a way. Jesus Christ yes. is yes. the only way the to the Father. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No other way to the Father. The Bible says we have been justified by his blood. How much more? When God's wrath comes on that day when he's coming back, yes. not as a lamb anymore, Amen. he's coming back as a judge because of the justification Amen. by his blood. Amen. And you living graciously, God's wrath. We will not follow you. Yes. Yes, what I could tell you. Kwa sababu meishi. Jesus ambabu mungu anataka wish. Buwana yesu wa sifiwe. Buwana yesu wa sifiwe. Five points here that I want to reiterate very quickly. Because of time. I'm um, rushing against time. Number one, right. He is our father. Ephesians 4 6. The Bible says there is one body and one spirit. Just as you are called to one hope when you are called. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, the Father of all, who is over all and through all in all. Hey, I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. Easy, it was a kitam was liquid on Tukufu San. Opaco, Tupu. We will liquid on Funuya Mandiko. Cabis, you come Mandiko. May God give you a song in your heart. Mm -hmm. Amen. Umeweka wimbo kinywa ni mwangu bwana nimbe sifa may, may god put a song in your heart amen for every season amen this week that has been my song it has been my song hata kwa tiktok nio nilikuwa naimba kwa tiktok hiyo umeweka wimbo ndani wangu it's it was just ministering to me that for every season god has put a song in my heart Praise the Lord. Amen. Wakati wa mawimbi, mungu waneka wimbo ndani mwako. Mm. Si tekete, si gareke, yeah. iyo kitu, si angami, yuko na... Every season there should be a song in your heart. Buwana sifiwe. Buwana kio upande wangu, nani atakuwa kinyume nami. Romans 8.31. Amen. So we realize, number one, that God... Jesus is our father. Mm -hmm. He says he's the father of all. Number two, in Proverbs chapter number seven, verse number three to four, did you know that Jesus is your sister? Yes, Sunni Dada Yako. 
Tusome Biblia. Proverbs chapter 7 verse number 3. Bind them on your fingers. Okay, begin from verse number 1. Ndio uelewe. Sipoenda pale Maria atanipata. My son, keep my words and store up my commands within you. Verse number 2. Keep my commands and you will live. Guard my teachings as the apple of your eye. Bind them on your fingers. Write them on the tablets of your heart. Are you seeing the heart being addressed there? Yes. Your personality. Say to wisdom. Hey. You are my sister. What does the Bible talk about? The seven spirits of God. The spirit of wisdom is among them. Tashika kesho. Kamu kuwangi kwa church. Iyo me kupita. Piu. Iyo me kupita kamaradi. Kapis. Sindi yo Pastor Elias. Kapis. Eh. Wisdom is one of the seven spirits of God mm -hmm. which I am emanating from the root of Jesse. Yes. So who is Jesus? Mm -hmm. Jesus is wisdom itself. You are my sister. And my you are my what? Relative. relative. Remember we are talking about redemption. The redemption had to be done by a relative. By a relative. So he had to become a relative. relative. He has to become a sister. He has to become a father, number one. Uh -huh. That's why when your father, listen, if you're fatherless, you should never feel like that. Me, my father went, went. Uh, I don't know if he's in heaven. I, I believe so. But I am not, <laughs> my father, I'm just preaching. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't assume that anyone who dies because he was a pastor goes to heaven. Uh -huh. I have seen free. something again under the sun where people die and we, 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 we encourage people that he's in a better place. Amen. I'm I'm pombe kwa uh -huh. <laughs> I'm so he, he had, we're talking about redemption. Are we still here? Amen. So for someone to be redeemed, what happened? Mm -hmm. Recap very quickly. There had uh -huh. to be, he had to pay himself out oh, or right. a relative had to come and bail him out. Yes. So God had to come. The father, he has to become a father so that we can have relationship. So a father can bail me out. My father has bailed me out from the penalty of sin by the blood. Are we still here? You know, to me, so my kwanza, apili, anakuwa sister. Wale watu waluya wana kuwanga na ile kitu mwana ume ezi kumana mke ezi kunembe kitu mwana weo Bwana wacha ni kuwambia ata yesu wana kuwanga mwana mke Sabu yesu wana agenda kwa baibu wakuna anga agenda Aina agenda Bwana zifiwe Baibu wana sema in Genesis He created both male and female He Let me get that scripture right I'll get to it Tafika pale nda isoma tu so say to wisdom, you are my and to insight, you are my relative. God is trying to make you understand him dying on the cross was not so that you can you can wear rosary and fanya nyinguo kila wakati. There is something bigger beyond that. Yes. Are, we, are you following me? Yeah. Are you following me? Yeah. You, when we get, when I get to the marks of the blood, you will begin to realize every mark of the blood was attaching us to the nature of the Father. Very quickly, because of time, my time is really running. I need to to get this somewhere. So we to meleo apo. He is also your elder brother. Hebrews three eleven. Father, sister, brother. We are building what? A family. We are building a blood family. Bring up the scripture, sir. So I declare, I declared on oath in my anger, they shall never enter my rest. Verse number 12. See to it, brothers and sisters, that none of you has a sinful and believing heart that turns away from the living God. See to it who? Brothers and sisters. He's talking to you as an elder brother. See to it, brothers and sisters, that you don't enter into sinfulness with what? 
unbelieving heart. Remember how he began? Do you remember how he began? The nature of a man, the heart, the soul, with unbelieving heart that turns away from the living God who is our Father. Kamu jashika utashika kesho. He is also your uncle and your cousin. So ukisikeni mtu akiomba sema Mungu uncle yangu kujusaidie usiuse mtu ameenda nje kwa Biblia. Bwana asifiwe. Leviticus 25:49. Leviticus 25:49. We read that earlier an uncle or his cousin may redeem him or a close relative from his clan may redeem him. Or if they prosper they redeem themselves. So God is taking every facet and this is why we say it a little here precept upon precept line upon line a little here so do you now see how scripture answers to scripture fana chukua tu scripture moja hapo nataka kutusumbua kichwa there was a man from god his name was john pokea tulia hapo kulikuwa na mtu anaitwa yohana na mimi ndio yohana nimekuja nataka nikwambie mimi ndio yohana yohana ni mimi munisikilize tulia tulia relax 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 can we can we choose scripture so that we can be able to build doctrine yes bwana asifiwe nimesema damu ilimwagika enda leta mbuzi umwage damu pastor chunje mbuzi yako ndioone let me tell you it is not it is not working like that mimi ukiletea mbuzi nitakula nitachinja nitakula nitashiba lakini hiyo mbuzi itakusaidia hiyo utakuwa umeniletea kama sadaka mchungaji umehubiri vizuri na mniletea by the way nitakula yes pigia mwili pole utabiri but it is not going to redeem you are you following me yes are we still here yes god is our mother jesus our mother Mungu si mama yako. Mungu ni mama yako. Sio si, usiharibu. <laughs> Galatians 4:19. Fungua hapo. I love the way you are, you are silent. Mhm. Ni venye tumezo yako sikia watu. Are you seeing that Jesus is building a family blood relation so that when he comes on the cross you understand that blood was shed for a purpose. Angeenda kinyume na maandiko. Mm-hmm. Bible inasema vizuri he came to fulfill not to abort. Yes. Sidio yes. He came to do what? To fulfill, not to abort. Mm-hmm. Eh, leo mko Bible school. But don't worry, there. in a few minutes fire will fall here. Mm-hmm. Then we release people to go home. Si leo ni holiday. Tunaweza fika 8:30. Yes. Tunaweza fika 8:30. Leo ni Friday. Can you get to 8:30? At 11 but. It's just a <laughs> Just a few minutes. Tuko sawa. Do you see if you see you biri kitu niache katikati hapa? Baba holiday ni back at you. I'm just requesting can you get to 8:30? Yeah. Thank you. You've yeah. given me 35 minutes. I'll, I promise within 35 minutes I'll be done. Thank you. Sit sit. Weka seat belt. Weka seat belt. Weka seat belt. Funga mkanda. Funga mkanda. Wazee mtulie. Can we go now? Amen. Galatians chapter 4 verse number 19 says my little children for whom i am again in anguish of childbirth until christ is formed in you this is paul to the galatian church say you are my little children i am in anguish for you until christ is born in you is formed in you some version says formed in you csb says my children i am again suffering labor pains for you until christ is formed in you It, that's it. I'm traveling. Na angalia the language an address kama children. It's a relational language. If you're in church and your pastor calls you son or daughter, count yourself blessed because you have graduated from being a member to being a person in that family. Mm-hmm. Relationship by blood. That's why I don't just call people son and daughter anyhow. You must prove your sonship. If I still call you by your name you are still in the vetting process because the moment I call you son you may do me the, the, like that that one who prodigal one who did who did the father that thing any I'm trying to translate alifanya baba yake ile kitu he did the father that thing yes 
Bwana asifiwe. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Now let me explain this this so you understand. Give me Genesis 1:27. We are going there. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male, male and, and female, female he, he created, created them. them. So God is simply telling you he ha listen, Jesus did not die 2000 years ago. Jesus died before the foundations of the earth were created. Because at creation, he created in him, he, them, both male and female, were in him. God has, okay, staki ni sound kama na ungea kitu wenyina ita, ita, ita toa, ita toka vibaya. We cannot place God's gender. It is true. And how do I know that? If I look at Genesis, Genesis 1.27, I believe, there, where, where we are, yes. God creates Adam. And Adam is alone. No, Adam is not lonely. He is alone. Adam was never lonely. When God takes Adam into sleep, he took his rib and blood was there. So true. Then he created female. That's why a woman is a womb man. A womb man. You are a woman because you came from a man. Mm -hmm. The only difference is that you have a womb that can carry the seed the man gives you. Mm -hmm. Womb man. <laughs> Don't eat your seed. <laughs> are we still here? Yes. So both men. And female were in him. They were in him. He created them in him. Hallelujah. Amen. So, this is why Nicodemus asks, what must I do to be born again? Jesus answers and tells him, for you to be born again, you, you cannot inherit the kingdom of God until you are you are born again. Say, let me be with Nicodemus. Nicodemus, I can say, it's a quaje mimi. When you make one kubwa hivi, ni rudi kwa tumbo ya mama yangu, ni zaliwe tena. Akwa na lewa language. It's a rebirth of relationship. He was telling him, if you accept my death, you accept the penalty of sin that I'm carrying. Then you can believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth. Then you can be accepted into the redemption that he has given. That is not so complex. It is not. <sighs> Marks of the blood. Number one. Where was the first place where Jesus shed blood? Luke 2.21. There are eight of them, and after that, I will, we will pray we go home. Marks of the blood. Your background is a idea, isn't it? And when eight days were completed for the circumcision for the circumcision of the child, his name was called who? Jesus. This name he was given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Tumeona ye mungu and take all facets, facets, facets of life. He can be your uncle. He can be your cousin. He can be your brother. He can be your sister. He can be your mother. He can be your father. So I want to submit to you if you are here and probably one of your relatives left and that void has never been filled. Jesus is ready to fill that void. Amen. That's why he says I'm a father to the fatherless. I am a husband to the widows. How can you be a father to the fatherless and be a husband to the widows? How can you be? God is so multifaceted, but he's building a picture of relationship because in the old covenant, redemption had to be done by a family or a relative. So God has to be a relative. That's why he left the glory. He took a human nature. I could come upon you. But he chose to come like man. Yes. 
He chose to come as man yes. to empathize. In fact, in Hebrews, the Bible says we, we have a high priest mm -hmm. who empathizes and understands what we go through. Yes. Talk of pain. He went through pain. He knows. When you go through pain, come to God. Tell him, Father, this pain is too much. He will tell you in Matthew eleven twenty-eight, 28, come to me. You who labor under heavy laden, I will give you rest. Because he understands what you go through. Yes. If you lose a loved one, he left his father, left the glory, came on earth, died. He understands what death is. But let me tell you, he conquered death and gave us victory. Mm -hmm. And that's why you are more than a conqueror. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, Ukipotesa Mutu, don't mourn for too long. I wish you were here. I wish you were here. I wish you were here. Listen, the, the person is gone. Let the dead rest. Let the dead Tell the Father, Lord, this gap, no man can feel it. But I know you are a brother. You are a sister. You are a cousin. You are a mother. You are a father. Fill this void and you will see he will just come and fill that void. Amen. So number one, on the eighth day, Jesus was circumcised. Circumcision comes with shedding of blood. At length. When you talk about the dust of the village. When he was circumcised, blood came. The area of circumcision meant that Jesus protected and assured your productivity. That's why you cannot be barren. You cannot be barren in real life in the order of giving birth and raising children, you cannot be barren. Under this dispensation of the marks of the blood and the covenant of Jesus, you cannot be barren. And I speak to any barrenness in your life by the marks of the blood. Yes. Let there be productivity in the name of Jesus. Yes. That blood gave productivity. I know someone is thinking, Pasi, you know, kuchoma, sasa na unobiri kitu gani hizi. Sini mandiko. Sasa mm -hmm. baibu mesemi wa circumcise. Si circumcision ni circumcision tu. Mm -hmm. Aange sema kama haku circumcise wa. Aange sema. Alitairishu. That's a sign of productivity. You cannot be barren. The Bible says Isaac sowed in that land. And in the same year where there was drought, he reaped a hundred folds. Because... Abraham had a covenant with God and the, one of the sign of the covenant was circumcision. Jesus just fulfilled it. Lift up your hand say I am product I am productive. I am productive. The work of my hands are productive. The work of my hands. Whatever I touch is productive. Whatever I touch is productive. Your confession is your possession receive in Jesus name. Amen. Genesis 128. I, I, I've, let me tell you. The days of church being unproductive are over. Because by the marks of the blood, productivity began. Hallelujah. Then God blessed them. And God said to them, are you seeing them, them, them? Be fruitful and Fill the earth and have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over every living thing that moves on the earth. Those terms, fruitfulness is productivity. You cannot be fruitful when you are barren. You only become fruitful because there was a mark of the blood that Jesus took. There was a mark that pro pro uh, assures you of productivity in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will be fruitful. Yes. You will multiply. Yes. You will fill the earth and you will subdue it. I hear this in my spirit. When God says that you fill the earth, you can never subdue if you have not filled. 
it is true. Numbers matter. Numbers matter. matter. Yes. That's why church has to grow. Yes. That's why church has to grow. Let be. no one lie to you where two, three are gathered. Yes, he's there. Mm -hmm. We want where a thousand and ten thousand are gathered. A million. Amen. The gospel must be spread. At sisi tuko tuka tumezoea tu tunakuanga wadogo tu hivi hapana. In fact, the Bible says do not despise the days of humble beginning. It means by the time it's by the time he's talking about do not despise the days of humble beginning, mm. he's looking at the latter end and he's saying don't despise those days. Yes. It's a reminder. So ukikuwa kanisani na wewe au win souls, you are barren. Mm -hmm. When it does. Ukishika kitu inafaa izae. Angalia Biblia vizuri, mtu yeyote ambaye Mungu alibariki alikuwa productive. Abraham, 90 years, becomes productive. Mm -hmm. There is nothing God cannot do. That's true. Sarah, old, fallopian tubes, imekua blada. Ikabeba mtoto, nine months. <laughs> Na hakaza. Sio si yes. Ali push. Mifupa zilikuwa zimechoka, but ali push. Because whatever God has mm. released grace over mm. has to be productive. Amen. I declare in the name of Jesus, Jesus name. upon this mountain, yes, Lord. every son and daughter of this house, yes. may you be productive in every area of your life. Whatever you touch will be productive. I receive. Whatever you touch shall be productive. I receive. Whatever you touch shall be productive. I receive. You will produce in the land and in the village. Yes. In the city and in the village. Yes. You shall be productive. Yes, Lord. Amen, Lord. Subdue. When you when you are productive, you subdue. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you guys. Days are coming. Days are coming. When you will be hearing full armor, mm -hmm. and you will talk, you will see this subduing. Yes. Because it's it's God's desire that you enter into a territory and you multiply and you subdue. Amen. See your competition, the growth. Kabisa. I don't believe your children should be the ones who every time they come home wanna pigwa pigwa. To talk and affect wanna subdue. Let the teacher call you for good news. Yes. I'm a swagger. I'm a Can't have a baby boy who just comes home crying. Kila siku tu migui. Nani ni mepigu apana. Go out there and prove that you are a man. Yes. Multiply your hands. Sabudu. Why, why, why are you looking at me like I'm a suspect? Baba tuna subdue. Bwana sifiwe. Amen. The boy is subduing. Allow the boy to be the boy. Yes. Bwana sifiwe. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me tell you, mimi baba yangu alio nichapa kwa sababu nimepigwa. Mhm. Mm Ukweli. Hata mimi wangu. Na so, what kind of a man are you? Mm -hmm. Ukipigwa pigana huko. Piga. Pararua. Sasa nilijua combat. Mimi ni mnoma, usione hivi. Mm. Hey. Tunajua baba. To know your fruits. Born as a few. Amen. Born as a few. Amen. Well, I'm not saying they be violent. It's good just to be. De you, you, you need to. You need to be defensive. Need to self. Watch a kamsela kagipi wa kujeti to say manisa. Mami pole. Mami pole to live. But do me. Ah. Number two. Luke 22 verse 44. Luke 22 verse 44. Are we still here? Yeah, so when you see um Nalewa ni ni injili and natimiza. Eh. The boy is subduing. Let him subdue. Luke twenty two forty four. And being in agony, he prayed more earnestly. I I I I I I I I read that scripture and uh, something came to my spirit about the midnight travels. How many of you have ever prayed until you have You have Prayed until you feel your body is not there. You have this pain.
pain within you, but you can't explain it, but you feel you are in such pain. Mm -hmm. Now, the Bible says, being in agony, he even prayed more earnestly. There is something about that prayer. Is this the prayer that Anna did? Hannah. Mpaka priest alikuwa anasema umelewa sangapi saa hii? That prayer. Hii maombi hii ukiona mtu analia na hii maombi wacha na yeye. Kitu tatoka baadaye maombi kwa kimchezo. These are the deep groanings that can't be uttered by men. That's for another day we're talking about prayer. But the Bible says being in agony he prayed more and then his sweat became like what? Great drops of blood falling down to what? The ground. Did we talk about the ground? Did we talk about the ground? Yes. Did we talk about the ground? Mm -hmm. Why the ground? The earlier class. Because Genesis 3.19 mm -hmm. speaks something profound about the ground. Yes. Genesis 3.19. Bring it up, sir. Hii dunia ni lukumba lukumba. Ni mwendo wa angamia. Hii hey, dunia ina mambo. Hey, I'm telling you, you can be in this world and you can struggle. Kapisa. My people, I'm praying for you that you will never struggle in this world. Hey. I pray for you with all my heart, you will never struggle. Hey. Jesus, God, God passed a curse. To Adam, he said, in the sweat of your face, you shall eat bread till you return to the ground. In the sweat of your face, you shall eat bread till you return to the ground. For out of it you are taken, for dust you are, and dust you will return. That was a curse. You put the food. Mutu wangu lazim mutu jashu. But Christ saka kujaka sema apana. Mbona watu wangu wateseke? Aka sema wacha nianze kuomba. Aka kuwa in agony. And he was carrying the pain of humanity. At that place he was crying. The weight of the sins of man came upon him. And he was praying in so much pain. And his sweat turned into blood. And the blood didn't touch the, 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 the leaves. The, the blood touched the ground so that you can have sweatless victory. The blood touched the ground so that there is no more curse. The blood touched the ground so that you can be more than a conqueror. And I declare tonight, no more sweat over your life. No more struggle over your life. May the ground open up for you. The Bible says that your tree will not cast a vine before its time. You shall abound in plenty. You shall not struggle. Yes. I prophesy yes. over your fruit. Yes. I prophesy yes. over your ground. Yes. Let it yield yes. in its season yes. in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. Sweatless victory. Yes, Lord. Sweatless victory. Yes. That sweat turned into blood and it touched the ground. I declare today, let the ground open up. Yes. Let the ground favor you. Let the ground favor you. By the blood of Jesus. Yes. By the blood of Jesus. Yes. The blood. blood. The blood of Jesus. Blood. The speaker better things. Yes. Let the ground favor you. Favor you are favored in the city. Yes. You are favored in the village. Yes. You are favored abroad. Yes. You are favored domestically. Yes. Let the ground. Yes. Whatever you, whatever you touch, yes. whatever you plant, yes. let the ground yes. open up for you. Open up. Let me tell you, church people struggle Jesus. because they don't know the marks of the blood. If, 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 if there was no need, that sweat could not turn into blood. But there is the Bible says that this blood of Jesus yes. speaketh better things. Yes. Better things. Better things. Not better bitter things. Better things. Better things. Better things. How can blood? How can sweat turn into blood? It's a mystery. It's a mystery. I'm telling you, you will begin to travel. You will begin to travel. And you will begin to realize something is happening. Because God did not create you to be barren. 
whatever you touch by the blood you shall ubragada whatever you touch by the blood yes. you succeed fulama we succeed by the blood of jesus fulama we succeed by the blood of jesus we shall multiply we shall subdue by the blood not by power not by might but by the spirit and by the blood of the lamb rata kala patede de shatana bado seketa Revelation 12 says we overcome by the blood yes. and by the power of our testimony yes after today step out and speak the ground by the blood of the lamb i have overcome by the blood of the lamb i have overcome yes listen i kept helping my mom put up a business it keep falling I told my mom go to your to your to your, to your stall in the in the in the, the Kwasoko and I want you to hold that ground and declare by the blood mm-hmm. I will not close yes. it has never closed Amen. Listen this thing is usi sema ngi to the blood kama elewi this ange ange hey I don't know what to say si juu kusema by the way there is power in the blood there is power in the precious flow of Jesus there is power power wonder working power in the blood come on oh of the lord there is power power wonder working oh in the precious blood Oh kuna nguvu 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 ya jabu dami Come on sing with understanding my Jesus past the fantas Prepare the holy communion I hear that my spirit nguvu nguvu ya jabu msala child of god there is power in the blood he sweat turned into blood mm-hmm. and when he touched the ground jesus remembered genesis 3:19 yes he said my people have suffered but by my blood zakusha libagada i'm giving them sweatless victory When they go to work favor is all over them. Conquering inshallah. Whatever they do favor is all over them. Yes Lord. Sweatless victory is your portion. I prophesy from today you will yes. never sweat. And your sweat amounts to nothing. You will never preach and your preaching amounts to nothing. Yes. You will never work and your work amounts to nothing. Amen. As he says I will bless the work of your hands. Yes, Lord. It shall be so in the name of Jesus. Yes. Victory. Jesus. I feel such an anointing coming upon me now. Yes, Lord. Sweatless victory. Yes. Lord. Sweatless victory. Sweatless victory. Amen. That's point number 2. I have oh my goodness. Can we stop there? We continue tomorrow. Yes. Or I just finish. Victory. Child of God, unaweza kuwa uko hapa pengine. Unaangalia life yako. Una feel ni kama you are a loser. Let me tell you. Not not again. Some of us grew in that kind of a life where we felt we were losers. My sister is here. And sometimes I talk about this and I I feel so emotional because we me I had I had I had a man of God say that we will amount to nothing. I had with my own ears people saying that we will amount to nothing. But I stand today by the grace of God mm-hmm. like David and say I was young. Mm-hmm. But now I am old I have never seen the sons of a righteous man for second neither beg for bread God is our father yes, He is a father 
when we feel we are fatherless, he has always embraced us. Yes. The embrace of a father is not of any other person. Yes. A father sees potential. Yes. A father guards potential. Yes. A father ensures potential. Yes. A father says, I am with you. Yes. From the beginning to the end, I will never leave you. Yes. I will never forsake you. Yes. I am your father. Yes. I know of the father I'm talking about. Yes. I have seen him for the past 34 years. I have seen this father. He has embraced me. He has fought for me. When people gang against me, I ran to the father. No wonder David says, I'd rather fall in the hands of God than fall in the hands of men. You have a father. You have a father. His sweat turned into blood so that the ground can open up for you. You can be productive. Whatever you touch can prosper. And I prophesy under this anointing. Let the ground open up for you. Let the ground open up for you. I release sweatless victory. Sweatless victory. Sweatless victory. No longer again. No longer again will he cast the ground. Because of the blood. Because of the blood. I know some of you, you can never even go back to a ancestral home. But I pray tonight in the name of Jesus. God is opening up the ground for you. You will buy land and you will build. You will buy land and you will build. In places you never thought. You will buy land and you will build. In places you never thought. God is not a man to lie. You will buy land. And you will build your home. You will build your home. In the name of Jesus. They took the dust of the ground and they cast you against it. But I stand on this altar. I reverse every curse. I break every curse by the blood. They said you never succeed by the blood of Jesus. On that ground, I reverse every curse. Your ground will accept you. Hashapoleparina katha. Heshalabagata. You will travel overseas. You will own property. You will own property in foreign nations. You will own property. I prophesy as I'm commanded. You will own property in Nairobi. You will build in Nairobi. You will be in Kisumu. You will be in Kakamega. You will be in Nakuru. You will own property by the blood of the Lamb. Listen, I know of people who have been told you can never succeed here. I hail from Nyanza. Let me tell you, people of God. Let me tell you, people of God. Let me tell you, I know of people who have been spoken to by the elders of the village. And they have told the people, you will never build and succeed here. And they have fled, left parcels of land in the village. If you are one among them, prepare because you're going back. And you're going back to succeed. No curse will hold you back. No curse can hold you back. By the blood of the Lamb, no curse can hold you back. Shapura Kataya, no curse can hold you back. The blood of Jesus on that ground broke every curse. You can live anywhere. You can survive anywhere. You can build anywhere. When I wanted to marry, I was told, we don't marry this tribe. My wife was told, we don't marry this tribe. And we said, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus broke every traditions, broke every traditions, broke every traditions. 
when I married my wife, even my own people told me we are giving you time. It's a matter of time and she will go back. Tunagonga miaka zikisonga. Wale walionena ndio wameachana. Wakingoja tuwachane wanaona tukisonga. Because the blood of Jesus, this blood speaketh better things. I can be prophesied to somebody. Go and marry that person. Go and marry that person. It is the blood of Jesus. It is the blood of Jesus. It is the blood of Jesus. It speaketh better things. Someone shout the blood. Shout the blood. Shala paruska pa. Our tribe cannot mind that tribe, but Jesus said, My blood has gone to the ground, it can never be the same again. Come out of it. Inaweza mambo yote Hey Oh ya 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 Za mambo yote Damu ya Yesu iliyo mwagika Inaweza mambo yote Damu ya Yesu iliyo mwagika Damu ya Yesu inaweza mambo yote Hey damu damu ya Yesu Curses break because of the blood. Demons live because of the blood. We overcame him by the power of the blood and by the power of our testimony. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh yeah 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 yeah. The blood. The blood. The blood of Jesus. This blood. Oh mashallah bagada bagada. Let me give one more. Sit down a minute. I know I've got to the threshold, but just sit down a minute. This blood. Let me tell you, people of God. I have come to a submission that what limits people is the gods of this world that have blinded men from seeing the reality of Calvary. It was one cross Three nails and four given. You are forgiven. You can succeed anywhere in this world because of the blood. You can thrive anywhere in this world because of the blood. When we opened full I was told by people, we are giving you three months and you will have closed that kiosk. They call it like that. The people who called, told me those things, some of them are not, not in ministry. Because they did not know. I have a blood that speaketh better things than human beings. 
your opinion does not count when the blood has spoken. Yes. Hallelujah. Marks of the blood. Circumcision brought productivity. The sweat of blood brought about victory. You will not have stress and pressure and barren grounds anymore. I release open grounds for you. I release open grounds for you. Amen. In your business is part of the ground. You will succeed. Amen. Number three. Isaiah 50 verse number 6. Oh God. Isaiah 50 verse number 6. Such an anointing in this place. We're going to take the Holy Communion and the power of God will move here in a mighty way. Isaiah 50 verse number 6. Very quickly. How many here are planning to buy land? I hear God say he's releasing resources for that. And even for the church, he's released it. You will succeed. Let me tell you, it's never about money. Whatever you need is not in heaven. It is on earth with men. And God will make the books of remembrance to be opened. Some of you will receive them as a token. Hakika we manazufali zita ni fwata mimi zita ka yumba. Jesus said, I offered my back to those who struck me. They did not beat him. They had no power to beat him, Patricia. He offered. He gave his back. He offered. He gave his back to those who struck me. And my cheeks to those who plucked out my beards. I did not hide my face from shame and splitting. Number three, back, the back, the beard, and the face. Those are marks of the blood. Pastor Elias Kuja, when you want to example, allow me to kindly. So, cameraman zoom here. So let us assume this is our Jesus for today. So, <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> give me, give me the, give me the, the picture. So let us assume this is our Jesus, our Jesus. So, Jesus had beards. Zangu siwe mingi. So Jesus gave his beards. I just want to look at this man's face. Look at his face. Have you seen that? He's feeling pain. Jesus offered. The Bible says he offered. He offered his beards for them to pull and pluck. You see, give me that picture, sir. Thank you, sir. You can see, he, humanly speaking, Jesus was human. He offered his beard to be pulled. To be pulled. My son tries to pull mine and it's so painful. He offered. They pulled his beards. And they came out. And blood was all over. Blood was coming out. There are marks all over his face. I'm not saying that is Jesus. I'm using that picture to, talk, to just give an analogy of what it is. Hold your hair. Try to pull your hair. 
Try to pull it until you cring. Try to pull it. How do you feel? It's painful. Now, he offered, Jesus offered his beard. Give me the scripture. Isaiah 50 verse number 6. The cheeks to those who pulled out my beard. And I offered my back. Akapena mgongo wake. Wakachapa mgongo. Alikuwa na uwezo kukata. Lakini mandiko nasema kwamba alipeana. Ili damu itoke. Marks of the blood. Wapendwa. It was not just an easy feat. He offered his back. They beat him. He offered his cheek. They pulled it. And yet, he did not hide his face from the mockery and the shame. What happens today when people mock you? You hide your face. Wakati watu wameshiko kwa scandal. Wanafanyanga nini wakipitio kwa news? They hide their face. They hide their face. Awataki watu wajuni. Lakini Yesu, mandiko nasema kwamba, hakufunika. Hakufunika aibu. Oh, my father God and you are the shame. He's no longer just Jesus. He's my father. He's my sister. He's my brother. He's my cousin. He and you are the shame. He was stiff naked. Akabaki uchi wa mnyama. Weka picha hapo. Akabaki uchi wa mnyama. Yesu wakachukua. Aibu yangu. Akafunika aibu yangu. Ili leo hii. Nisimame wima. Sita ogopa kachote. He has taken your shame. He has taken your shame. He was stiff naked. He was beaten. He was wounded. But I can walk. Tall. Asha balababababa. He covered the humiliation. Wapendwa. Wachana picha tunambiwa. Tunadanganywa picha. Alikuwa mefuniku hapa. Jesus was naked. Alikuwa uchi wa mnyama. And blood. He was beaten everywhere. One day. I was in prayer. And a picture of Jesus came to me. The same thing that happened to him, he was not covered. He told me, I, I endured shame that you can have a name. Martin, this is why I don't fight for a name. I don't fight for Steve Omodex. You want to abuse me, people can abuse me all they want. I don't fight for a name that can be taken away. There is a greater name. And therefore the name of Jesus has been exalted above every name that at the mention of the name of Jesus every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord because of this Pauline they can call you all names they want but there is something bigger Paul says I became a prisoner defending the gospel in fact he says for this thing for this thing I sought the Lord three times that, that the Lord can take it away. But the Lord said I will not take away the pain from you. He was defending the gospel. He says I was in chains defending the gospel for your sake. Because he understood. Nikimaliza kazi. Nitavikwa taji. Nikimaliza kazi. Nitavikwa taji. I have nothing else to give you people. I'm giving you the gospel. Because at the end of the day, it is the marks of the blood that will speak for me that day. What did he mean? He covered humiliation. You are not a candidate for shame. He took the shame. That's why he's called us to look up to him. To look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher. Ken, the Bible says, after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, the God of all grace, he will strengthen you. He will establish you. Wapendwa, watu waneza kukutukana kwa sababu hauvai venye wanava. Hauna pesa venye wakona pesa. That shame he took it. 
Ndio maana Paulo anasema nimejifunza kutosheka nikiwa na mengi niko sawa nikikosa niko sawa lakini kwa yote Bwana anabaki kuwa Bwana katika yote wacha Yesu abaki kuwa Yesu in it all let Jesus remain to be Jesus ndio maana wakati mwingine nafika mahali kama mchungaji Pauline Ro inakuwa mzito landlord anakusumbua hapa rent ya kanisa mjalipa kwa kwa rent ijalipwa washirika wako na issues lakini naangalia nasema Mungu katika yote katika yote utafanya njia pasipo na njia wapendwa jipe moyo marks of the blood This one straight them down as point form. N- number 4. The weeping Paul. The same scripture Isaiah f- chapter 50 verse number. The weeping Paul, weeping Paul. Weeping Paul. W W W E E P I N G P O L E the weeping Paul. I gave my back to those who struck me. Give me that picture sir. Give me the picture. I gave I offered my back to those who struck me. Nisikilize kwa makini. Hii dunia watu watakuongelea. Watakusimanga. Utende mema, utende mabaya, wataongea lakini wapatie mgongo give them your back watongea usiku mchana watalala kitu cha muhimu ni kwamba you are focusing on Jesus as you focus on him he will not let you go down he gave them his back to signify that your past is gone wengine hapo mlikuwa na wanawake wengi mlikuwa watu wa wanawake mkawacha Mlikuwa wezi mkawacha, mlikuwa watu wa pombe mkawacha. Mlikuwa watu wa matabia mbaya mbaya mkawacha. Kuna kamtu mahali kamekaa tu wako nika nika ka James Bond fulani, akasaungu vitu. Kana kaikuona kasema ngatu uja mali kwa ngamuizi. Uja mali kwa humanizer. But you are, the Bible says forget the former things. The past is gone. Behold, I'm being a new thing. I declare your beginning is is one with an end. Your past is your past. God does not address you by your past. Let me tell you, mimi nimezaliwa kwa nyumba ya mchungaji. I have lived a pastor's life. I have been a very good child. Mimi si kaja club na mguu yangu hivi. I have never even tasted alcohol with my mouth. I have never. So I will be one of those people you will say I admire your life. One day I was sharing my testimony with the pastors and everyone was telling me, "Eh hey, baba yangu ilikuwa noma. You ever saw a DJ?" He was DJ. So he was going to the club to DJ and mix things there. Me I was living a good life and you were just comparing notes. And you were talking and I was saying I wish I had your life because I would have tested both sides. You were telling me usijaribu hata kutamani life yangu it was bad. He me was telling me I wish I had your life because wewe ulikuwa mtoto wa church. Kanisa tu ni Mungu ni Mungu kila wakati. We didn't have that time. But I told them at the end of the conversation I told them maandiko nasema yule ambaye alijiriwa mbele na mwisho malipo ni sawa god has a beginning and your beginning may be listen ha ruba saliga duskaba it was not the end of soul it was the beginning of paul perspective matters it was not the end of soul it was the beginning of paul listen they are they can call you a persecutor but god has an agenda with you they can call you by your past but remember he took your shame Wanapo kuongelea, he took your shame. It is your past. You are... So the accuser of brethren carries an evidence and takes before God. And God is just. Unapata mambo yake na ngumu. From today, when you come to church, pray and tell God, thank you for bringing me here. I've come in your presence. Any kind of accusation that the enemy bring against me and my family and my children, I nail it on the cross by your blood. I am holy before you. 
the last point. You need number four, four right? Number five, his head. John 19 verse number two. The soldiers twisted together a crown of thorns and put it on his head. They clothed him in a purple robe. Your mind. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, it's not time to lose your head. You can never lose your head. Because when they put that thorn on his head, he covered your mind. Now let this mind be in you, which was in Christ Jesus. What was the mind? To do the will of God. When you begin to focus, the mind of Jesus is upon you. In John 16:33, he said, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. I have told I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. John 19, 18. You may have peace. And I mean, uh, I mean, uh, oh my goodness. Uh, John 16, 33. John 16, 33. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world, you will have pressure. You will have trouble. You will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome for you. Oh, Apendua, are you having trouble? Are you having pressure? I'm telling you today. He took that thorn round his head so that you may have peace. How jali parent have the peace of God. How jali pia watoto shule have the peace of God. How una pesa have the peace of God. Nothing catches God by surprise. He said, I tell you these things because in this world you will have these problems. But when the thorn went on his head, wakadunga kichwa yake, damu ya Yesu, ikamwagika, ikakuja kwa ndevu pale damu zinatoka ikakuja kwa tumbo damu inatoka ikakuja kwa mgongo damu inatoka yote ikaenda chini akasema nawaambieni katika ulimwengu huu mtapitia majanga mtapitia majaribu watu watakutukana na imani yako how many of you have been abused because of your faith here uh, Mimi have been abused. If you have not been abused, I came to remind you, prepare. It is coming. You'll be abused. You'll be ridiculed by your family. Oh my God. When I was ordained as a prophet, in our own house, my own mother began to tell me, strength is leaving my body, but I pray for you. I pray for you that you will receive something supernatural I have told you these things so that you may have peace so that you may have peace so that you may have peace church majaribu itakuja mingi lakina wambia nilimpate kuwa na amani ande shabala diskaba take heart I have overcome and so you overcome the sixth one his hands which is your work John 19, 18. They nailed him on the cross. The two other were crucified with him. One on either side. With Jesus between them. No. No. Wakati wali mkrucify. Nipatio mkono. Walidunga mkono wake. And that blood trickled down. And that blood trickled down. Ephesians 2.10 says we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. John 9.4 I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day for night cometh when no man will work. John 14, 9, 14, 12. Truly I say to you, whoever believes in me will also do the works which I do and greater works will they do than those I, I did because I am going to the Father. Romans 8, 19. For the earnest expectation of the creature awaited the manifestation of the sons of God. Deuteronomy 28, 12. For God will open for you his good treasure, the heavens, for God for, for to give you rain in your land and its season, it will bless the work of your hands and you shall lend to many and not beg. Lift up your hands, Father, in the name of Jesus. These hands, whatever they touch by your blood, they will succeed. They will succeed. They will succeed 
in Jesus' name. Number seven, the feet. The feet. Put up the picture. Ephesians 6, 13. Therefore put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything, stand again in the power of your might. Receive strength to stand against every odd. Those, those feet receive divine strength to stand. You will trample upon snakes and scorpions and none of them will come near you. Give me Psalms 18.33 in Amplified Version. Psalms 18.33 Something is happening to me. I just feel virtue is leaving my body as a, at a very high speed. He makes my feet like hands. Feet. Able to stand firmly and tread safely on paths of testing and trouble. Listen, whatever trouble you're going through, you will stand. Whatever trouble you're going through, you will stand. Majaribu John, pengine ni mengi lakini utasimama. Vumilia roho yangu. Majaribu ni kama moto inayochoma imani yangu. Bwana naomba usaidi you will see you will set you securely upon high places those high places are the places i call seated above with christ in heavenly places something will land in this church in a few minutes i feel something moving in my spirit first peter 5:10 having suffered a little while and number 8 the last one he sighed when they came to Jesus and found that he was already dead, they didn't break his legs. Instead, one of the soldiers pierced Jesus' side with a spear, bringing a sudden flow of water and blood. Water and blood. Water and blood. Remove for me these things here. Water. They came. Rise up on your feet. We're going to partake of the Holy Communion. power as you take. Listen. I don't know what's happening to me, but I know it's the power of God. As I was preaching, it's like as I touched on every point, I literally felt like virtue was living. I know this is God. Sometimes when I keep insisting in the WhatsApp to be in church, I know sometimes I just don't insist for people to be in church because I know sometimes God preempts through my spirit a few things. As you take of the Holy Communion, you will see what he will do. Him himself, by his blood, he will touch you. So take your body take your blood Lord this is turned into your 
blood. And this is stunned. I'm really shaking. This is your blood. This is your body. We take it. And I pray now, Lord, as your people partake of this, let it turn into your blood. And let the marks of the blood be made manifest. Don't, don't be close to seats. Be in a place that is open. Be, 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 don't be closer to seats. I want to be in an open space. To some of you here, I see the ground opening up for you. To some of you, it is shame leaving you. Some of you, it is sickness leaving you. Some of you, it is attacks leaving you. Your household. Let this lift up that blood. Father, this is your blood. Lift up that body. This is your body. Now. Now. And fill your people. And fill your people. Now. Even those who are watching online and they have the elements. In fill them now. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go ahead. Pastor, take those cups very quickly. Just move where they are very quickly. Lift up your hands. Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, I release the unction and the power of the blood. The unction and the power of the blood, rush there. The unction and the power of the blood. Now, rest upon you. Whichever area of your life that needs the touch of God. Let God touch you. One, two, three. There goes the power. There goes the power. There goes the power. Marks of the blood. 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 Marks of the blood, Pastor Eva. Marks of the blood. Marks of the blood. Marks of the blood. Marks of the blood. Take it. Take it. Let the Holy Ghost fight for you now. Whichever area of your life that the enemy has fought you, I speak the blood. I speak the blood. I speak the blood. The blood. The blood. The blood. The blood of Jesus. Upon that cross. You said it is finished. The blood. The blood. Max of the blood. Max of the blood. Zakusha Paya. Lupa Ziba Laguna. The power of God is moving. He's moving in his place. He's moving in his place. He's moving in his place. But take off the power. But take off the power. But take off the marks of the blood. Every shame is leaving your life. Every curse is being broken. Every battle is being won. 
every hardship is being lifted by the power of the blood by the power of the blood by the power of the blood in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the power is over you Mr. Fantas power of the blood Take it. 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 Max of the blood. Zabedelebesh, you know, Mama. Robo Shataya. Lipo Riva Zitebada. Max of the blood. 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 That ground at home. That ground at home. Shapaladeskepe. Max of the blood. Max of the blood. Let that ground open up. Zadele de Shedeleba. Shedelele Aboshia. That ground will not swallow any more person. Zotepe Shata. No more graveyards. No more graveyards. Marks of the blood. No more premature deaths. No more. By the blood. 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 Break! Shabale Baboshi. Max of the blood. Come here. Stand, come here. Max of the blood. Lift up your hands. Max of the blood. The blood. The blood speaking. Blood speaking. And now Holy Spirit. Speak into this matter. Speak into this weight. By your blood. There is nothing that he cannot do. From the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. Is coming upon you. Of the 
in Jesus' name. It is done. 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 Pick your offering. Pick your offering. supernatural is happening in this service. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. Those who are watching us online, is something happening wherever you are. I can feel it. communion with your family and just speak the blood just speak the blood something will break forth in your house receive this fire and carry it with you whatever is broken will be mend Things that have not worked before will begin to work. After you have suffered a little while, the Lord of all grace, He will strengthen you. He will perfect you. He will establish you. Give me that scripture. After you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, something you are carrying something tonight that you will thank God for the rest of your life may the God of all grace who called us to his eternal glory after you have suffered a little while perfect strengthen establish and settle you settlement settlement the blood of Jesus is real it has never lost its power. As we go home, as we give our offering and we go home, I release you that power. In Jesus' name. Those who are watching us online, the giving lines are on the screen. Give. Give to the Lord. Give to Jesus. In a ways a man boy, yes,
of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Go with the power of the blood. See you on Sunday. In Jesus' name.